You should give yourself credit sometimes. You really are one of the good guys. Hey, you told me that before. Why are you bringing it up again? Well, I'm not sure you really get it. How unusual you are. Since we met, I think you know I've really come to respect you. Both as a leader and as a friend. Most people are just out for themselves, one way or another. Even the good ones. But you're different. You really care about other people. Even when it isn't convenient or even safe. I've seen you risk your life more than once to help people just because it was the right thing to do. I just wanted you to know that, well, that it matters, that you're making a difference. Well, if any of that is true, it's, well, a lot of it's because of you, Preston. You've shown me how to be a better person. Oh, thanks. That means a lot coming from you, really. All right, there's not many that'll risk their lives to protect others, but I can tell that you would. Enough chit chat, huh? It's time for you to head home. I'll head home. Don't get yourself into trouble out here by yourself. What's the matter now? I was wondering if you could help me. Well, let's hear it. We got a bigger, better problem. Dad is observing them now. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. What? What? Thank <laughs> you. 
He and his cronies come for backup to take care of us, I bet. Wasn't Frankenstein the monster? No, you moron. Frankenstein was the doctor. He made the monster. The monster didn't have a name. Would that make Dr. Whiteford the bride of Frankenstein? I'm not even gonna honor that with a response, Wolf. I'm sorry. Am I interrupting something? No. I imagine you're right where you were paid to be. I am here on my own. Alright, I'll take your word for it. You could be useful. We were just on our way out to get back up ourselves. Lift the lockdown, Wolf. Ain't lifting, sir. Why the hell not? That is simply because the encryption on that lockdown is far beyond the skills of some wasteland code monkey. You would need the director's password to open it, but oh no, you seem to have put a bullet in the head of Burns, the one person who had the access code. Listen here, Frankenstein. I'm in charge here. You don't like it, you'll find you and Burns are gonna have something in common. I'm merely pointing out that your rash decision-making is the primary factor as to why we are stuck in this current predicament. Shut the hell up! Clay! Wolf! Options! I could try to bypass the wire in here at the console, sir. That would not work. All of our hardware has temper protection. It'll just fry itself, and we'll be even more stuck. There has to be a way to reset the passcode. Wait, so we're locked down here? Thanks to the captain's rash and uninformed decision-making. What are you guys all worked up over? We're worked up because these eggheads went too far. We thought this was gonna be a standard protection up until we found out what they were up to. You don't understand what you saw, it wasn't... I'm pretty damn sure I understood what I saw, Frankenstein. And I for damn sure am not comfortable with being locked down here with them! We just need a little more time. The experiment will work. I've given you butchers nothing but time! But look where it's got us. Locked in a cave with no way out! There might be one way. Well... Spit it up, Grease Monkey. If we can get to the main server, we can probably reset the passcode. Well, hot damn! Why didn't you speak up sooner? There's a hitch. To get to the main servers, you have to go through the labs. That is a bitch of a hitch. But, it gives us an opportunity. You're thinking what I'm thinking, Clay? We waste the abominations on our way there. Two birds, one stone. You're goddamn right. And just to be sure they don't try this twisted shit again, we better put Frankenstein and his lover here in the ground. Just wait. You don't have to do any of that. What's wrong, little miss? Your big, beautiful brain will make excellent wallpaper. God knows these caves need a little color. Just listen. I ain't been paid to listen. What were you paid to do? Protection. Like most gutter contracts, some wimp is too much of a pussy to fight his own battles. But he's got the caps to make us do it. Ugh, and I thought this was going to be easier than the caravan garden. I need a little more info about this. We ain't got all the time in the world here. But sure, you can go hear her excuses. Thank you. Maybe cooler heads can prevail. Wait, what's this experiment? We're trying to make the next generation of soldiers. Warriors, capable of reclaiming the wasteland. What's your plan to get us out of this? Dr. Kaim and I were working on a way to control them. If we were just given a bit more time to finish our experiments. It's quite simple, really. I helped to develop domestication devices that were used to control death claws. Compared to that, this is a cakewalk. Listen to them. You believe this bull trap? They want to control them, so they have their own personal army. What will make you listen, Captain? This is purely for research. They will be disposed of when we are done. Those things are bloodthirsty monsters. I saw what they did to Rhodes. How many of my people need to die for your precious research? What will make you listen, huh? We're better off disposing of them ourselves. You don't have enough ammunition for that. But I got enough to put a pretty little hole between your pretty little eyes. What happened, do you man? I saw it with my own eyes. He got dragged away by those monsters. I can still hear him screaming. What are these monsters? They lurk in the shadows. And when you're not looking, they rip you to shreds. You can try to scream, but they'll rip your throat out. And you'll drown in your own blood. I've seen it. Barely escaped my life. 
I see that you people aren't going to come to a decision on your own. Maybe I can help? What? You think you're just gonna march down here and start solving our problems? <laughs> you don't trust me? Oh, hello, random stranger who showed up out of thin air. Why, yes, I'd certainly like to trust you blindly at your word. Do you not see how stupid that sounds? Alright. I'm willing to give an outside perspective a chance. But one slip-up, and you're going in the same unmarked grave as Frankenstein. Got it? You can talk to everyone here, weigh our options. Then come to me with what you think we should do. And then I'll decide if I give a damn about what you think. Hey. Sup? Close plan. Do you think we should go with? Whatever plan that gets us the hell out of this shithole. Excuse me. I... Everything's taken care of. Good. They deserved whatever you gave them. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Oh, and sir, I've decided to follow in their footsteps. I want to join the Minutemen, if you'll have me. I need to do my part to make sure that no one else suffers what they did in Pennsylvania. Just tell me where you'd like me to go. I want you to join my team. I'll contact you soon. Excuse me. So? I have a feeling Kilgua isn't going to like my decision. You're probably right. I'm surprised he gave you a shot at all. Personal log, Director Burns. My team has settled in well to the new labs. It's not as spacious, and our resources aren't as limitless as they were in DC. But without the administration, I've been able to greenlight many more projects. We're making good progress. I hope our research sees the light of day, literally and figuratively. It's been quite a while since any of us have seen the sun. At least down here, we're isolated enough from the dangers of the wasteland above.
So that's it, huh? Anything. The gas. It's, it's the gas. It's in my head. I can't get it out. I can't get it out. But you, who are you? It's okay. I'm a friend. Are you? I, I don't remember. I don't remember anything. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know what's going on, but you need to get out of here. Now. I, I... we should go with? I don't pick sides, really. Either one sounds good enough to get us the hell out of this shithole. Only thing I'm worried about is that you're gonna have to drag me down there with you to reset the lockdown. What do you do around here? Maintenance. Making sure this place doesn't fall apart. Not that that did much good when those eggheads nearly blew it all the high heavens. What happened down here? First the cryo lab blew up. Then some of the experiments got out. Next thing we know, we've retreated all the way out here. And you locked the doors so we can't get out. Oh. I am gonna talk to the others. Alright. Don't take too long coming to a decision. <clears throat> Kilgore's got an alright head on his shoulders. He knows what he's doing, but sometimes I worry he's gonna get stir-crazy after being locked up now. Can I help you? What kind of work were you doing here? Bioengineering. Revolutionary stuff. Work that needs to be finished. For the betterment of mankind. Yes? i like to know more about your plan. Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. I suppose an explanation is in order. Simply put, Judith and I have isolated an auditory frequency that lets us pacify the subjects. We simply need help fine-tuning the experiment before we can get past them safely. Tell me about yourself. Oh, myself? Oh, not much to tell. 
just a man of science looking to leave his mark on the world. The one thing I can tell you is I had this situation completely under control. The science is sound, but Kilgore decided to get a little emotional over things he did not understand. Do not delay! The situation is a ticking time bomb. It needs to be resolved peacefully. Farewell. I think your plan is the way to go. I'm glad you came to your senses and made the right choice. Now to deal with the Butcher. I don't think you should kill them. I don't really give a shit what you think. Frankenstein! Oh, yes. Uh, can I help? Give the devil my regards. What do you mean? Why did you do that? Shut that mouth of yours before I blow it off your face. Wolf, go lock up this cycle while we discuss the game plan. Yes, sir. Go in, raid the armory, and get us set up to clean house. You want me to head in there with the monsters? Yeah, that's where the armory is. If we want a fighting chance, we need ammo, dumbass. Okay, I get right on it, Captain. Finally! I'm tired of people not listening to my goddamn orders. Talk to Clay and get ready to move out. And remember, we need that ammo, not two more corpses under my command. So make damn sure you come back alive. 